No fear of missing out and sometimes just being plain boring. It's what made Warren Buffett one of the most successful investors in history. In fact, anyone can invest like Warren Buffett. His strategy is centered around the principle of value investing. Finding companies that are undervalued, focusing on long-term earnings, not short-term growth. In other words, buy businesses, not stocks. If we buy a business, we're gonna hold it forever. So we're, we're gonna have good years, bad years, in between years, maybe a disastrous year some year. <laughs> and and uh, we, we care a lot about the price. We do not care about the next 12 months. Batteries and paint, not sexy companies, but guess who owns Duracell and Benjamin Moore? Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. Buffett invests in companies that have a competitive advantage, a remote, as he puts it. It's what led him to invest in Apple, his biggest holding. I just think of uh, basically the utility of those products to a ecosystem that is demographically terrific and, and uh, finds that instrument useful in dozens and dozens of times a day. Uh, it, it, it's almost indispensable, not only the individual's business, I mean everything. Buffett also invests in companies that are easy to analyze. He knew the value of the membership subscription model long before Amazon Prime or Netflix. Berkshire has held Costco for decades. Buffett says he buys what he knows, which is why Berkshire is the largest shareholder in Coca-Cola and Kraft Heinz. Does his approach cause him to miss a few big winners? Sure. He passed on Tesla and Google and was very late to Apple and Amazon. The fact that you're missing out on 90% of the stuff doesn't really make any difference if, if the 10% you do is right. He's always had a penchant for banks and insurance companies. Berkshire Hathaway owns Geico and has stakes in Citi, Visa, and American Express. To invest like Buffett, buy what you know. Buy a business, not a stock. Don't be afraid to be boring and be patient.